Hi, welcome to our abs section. I know this is the one part you guys have all been looking forward to throughout the entire workout. So we're just gonna get started right away. All you need for this workout is a mat and a couch cushion. And the reason that we're using the couch cushion today um, is I know that a lot of you guys are having a hard time sitting post childbirth. This can make it easier. And not only that, the pillow can also actually make your workout a little bit more challenging because it's gonna make an added extension when you come down working those abdominal muscles. So we're gonna get started. So you're gonna bring your feet to 45 degrees, toes flat down on the ground, arms out in front of you, and all you're gonna do is round the back, tucking the tailbone under, and lean as you come backwards. As you inhale, come up and sit nice and tall. Exhaling on your way down, round. Inhale as you sit and reach. Beautiful. As you round out that belly, make sure that that belly button is pulling in towards the spine. Very nice. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Let's do four more. The lower you come down, the harder it's gonna be on you. Last one. Good job, now as we come down, we're gonna open up one arm at a time and turn to the side. Reach back up and turn to the other side. Open up that arm and open up that arm. And this time we're inhaling as we come down and exhaling as we come up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more on each side. Beautiful. Now let's open up both arms and hold it right here for a count of five, four, Three, two, one. Bring those arms up, and now hands behind the thighs. Roll down nice and slow. Beautiful. Extend the arms up above the head, the feet out straight in front of you. As you exhale, we're going to reach the arms up and towards those toes. As you inhale, you're going to lower down. Exhale, come up and reach. Inhale and lower. If you can bring that upper back off the floor, go ahead and do so. If not, just take the head and the tops of the shoulders off the floor. Let's do four more. Exhaling as you reach up, inhaling as you lower down. And now see if you can add a leg. Can you add a leg as you come up and hold for a count of three, two, one. Lower down and reach. Exhale, other leg. Hold for a count of three, two, one. Lower down. Exhale and hold. Three, two, one. Breathing out. And three, two, one. Lower everything down, hands at your sides, palms are facing up. Toes point straight up ahead, and as you exhale, you're gonna lift that upper body with the arms and look to the big toes and then lower down. As you exhale, lift and look, and lower as you inhale. Exhaling, inhaling. Exhale, inhale. Four more. If your neck gets tired, all you need to do is put the hands behind the head. Good. Arms up above the head, and this time, bring those arms forwards and bring that knee up towards your chest. Come down and switch. And for this one, if your head gets tired, I recommend just leaving your head on the floor. Just like this.
Last time, this time bring that knee in, put the hands against the thigh, and push that knee away from you while bring the knee in. So you're using resistance, and your knee's coming forwards as your hands push away. Good, release and extend, and the other leg. Push that knee away, but bring that knee in at the same time. Push with your hands, pull in with the thigh, and release. Hold it right here. Nice deep breath in. Good, bring those knees into your chest, give them a nice hug. And rock them back and forth. And this time as you rock away, you're gonna rock yourself up to a seated position. Extend the leg and reach. Come back, rock and roll. Extend the leg and reach. Rock and roll. I love this exercise. It's so much fun. That's it. You can make it more advanced if you want by just coming right up. Just coming right up. Beautiful. Last one on each side. Good. Both feet down, hands down behind your shoulders, fingers face straight ahead, palms are down, and lift those hips upwards into your tabletop pose. If you want, you can drop your head back, or you can keep looking straight ahead. Exhale as you bring those hips back down, extend those legs in front of you, reach up first, and try and take those heels up off the ground. Everything has to be super tight for those heels to come off. One more deep breath in, and as you exhale, release the heels and reach for the toes. Back up, lift the heels up off the floor. And release. Good, let's take that pillow away, put it to the side, and we're gonna come down into our plank position. On our elbows, I want you to make fists with the hands. Push those fists right down into the mat as hard as you can. Beautiful, and just hold it there. Pressing those fists down into the ground as if you're trying to push the floor away from you. That's gonna engage the abs so much more. Now, if you can, let's take those knees up off the ground. And we're just gonna hold it here for 30 seconds. Keeping the neck in line with the spine by gazing straight down at that mat. Drop those hips down, readjusting those feet as you need to. Ten more seconds, we're almost there. And drop those knees down to the mat, press back up onto those hands, and sit it back into your child's pose. We're not done yet, one more time, back down, pushing those fists, imagining you're pushing the mat or the floor away from you. Engage those thighs by lifting those knees, tucking in the stomach, and don't forget to breathe. Ten more seconds, we're almost done, you can do it. Drop those knees down, press up on the hands, and back into your child's pose. Sit it on up, and you're all done.